Yeah, so much. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I just want to say that you know sometimes like honestly like in certain relationships, there are certain things you can settle for, there are certain things you can keep up to. But like in my relationship, I felt like he's always been a giver, he's always been like a supporter and you know, he he he, he I mean, he was used to, you know, being around girls, never got to commit. So, I didn't like the fact that I had to teach him, but we got here and since it's been the best decision ever because honestly like he's not someone that um i complain about now i think he complains about me do you think he's the man you'd want to get married to i mean i don't date for the fun of dating i date uh because i value someone and i see a future with them only now child because like the people i've been with in my life are very shocking so i do i do see a future with him i like him i'm happy with him the the good overcomes the bad mm. when we have bad days or oh, when i have a bad day i know when i get home i'm gonna be the happiest woman ever now i got the i don't know guys because i don't even know like i, I mean i don't know i don't know and honestly guys with my current partner i want to be open and clear that i never got cheated before him i never found out whoever i dated in my life before i never find like cheating has always been my biggest fear so when i had to actually realize that i'm getting cheated on i was like oh my gosh did he know that you were famous so he didn't have social media i had to force him to have social media he did know about my name but not too much you know what about the sex tape of course he does know he knows everything about me and he had to accept it i mean love me for who i am or i'll find someone else how do you feel about your upcoming surgery so i don't think i'm nervous guys i don't know i think i've run out of feelings the only feelings i have are for my person besides that i don't think i have any like i'm excited for my surgery actually <laughs> I'm actually quite excited. Uh, I thought I was going to be nervous. I think I'm going to be nervous on the day, yeah. But I mean, it's not scary. Because I remember, like, my last BBL when I did it. Um, I was just so chilled. I was ready. They put me in the bed so that they they make me faint. So when they make me faint, I, I, I was just scared a bit. But they were talking to me to ask me, like, what my favorite color is, how my boyfriend is doing. And I just fell asleep out of nowhere. And I woke up with a new body. So, same shit is gonna happen, just in a more professional space. That's the difference. Imagine. That is it. Guys, I wanna tell you how my parents met. So, can we talk about that now? <sighs> why are you doing it again? Because I have money. And I can, that's why. I <laughs> said, do you have friends? I actually don't have friends, but I'm talking to someone in the DMs who might be my friend. I'm getting to know her, and uh, I think we're gonna go out for lunch soon. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait to meet her. But I don't have friends for now, bitch. Like, I've cut everyone off. Because people are full of shit. And they think I need them, imagine. Do you have female friends? I don't. Another question about friends. I don't have female friends. I have nothing. Zero. I don't have gay friends. I have zero. I'm all by myself. It's just me and my boyfriend. My boyfriend. Me and my man. Kiri. Naku primary. Yo. Nikina chumti. Hundred million. High school, it got worse. Now I'm all by myself. And I think we have that in life, shall we? Everything just switches. All those friends you had just disappear. They have their lives to focus on. I understand. So, yeah. Dad met my mom actually in the house. Because my mom was just like me. Always staying indoors. She wasn't going out. So then my dad was friends with my mom's uncles. And then she saw this beautiful. He saw this beautiful being, you know. And he didn't want to fuss her hair. Because he was broke and he just knew where he stayed. So he was like, you know what, I'm gonna work hard and then get on to my hand, you guys. My mom was 18 or 19, I don't know. And my dad untied my hand, you guys, out of no way. Like literally out of no way. Like my hand. 
baba bang na ke story se bang pitseng sona ke nang rusa shota nyana story se ke nang rusa hlasa mo me banya a banya kompotsa gore they were committed and then they went through what i went through with my boyfriend maybe you know some things i bang pots bang pots gore mama na lo kontlong so maybe na banya gore as one i think they were playing me what if na banya ka le nna ke ba kontlong so that i can get married what if what if they were playing me i'm trying to think about it now because now i'm woke but when now i'm woke i know who to think in so <clears throat> i'm suspicious guys actually that's the story and then my my dad actually got married to my mom and then they had my sister uh mom they got married at 21 when my mom was 21 and 22 my mom had my sister and then me and then my little brother that is so annoying he's so annoying but yeah and he's gonna call me now got four six kids keep planning i already know i didn't plan it but i mean i already know i have eggs there's something called an egg like something you don't like about someone or something that you feel like someone should change about themselves so please write your eggs about me for now, while you write your ex about me, I want to tell you my biggest ex also about you guys. So, yeah, before I leave. Now, my biggest ex about you guys is that you tell me they can never make me hate you, number one. I want that to stop immediately because I really don't give a fuck. Number two, my biggest ex is when people come to me to say, Oh, sissy, yo. Uh, I used to not like you a while ago. Now I like you. They come to me. They tell me that. Before I say a picture, hey, yo, yo, you know what? To think that I didn't like you in the beginning, now I do. Like, <sighs> my other biggest thing about you guys. Is that you come to me, come groove on, to tell me about your issues. Yo, tell me, I just had an abortion. How do I deal with it? Yo, tell me, you know, I saw your story on YouTube. I'm so sorry. I'm going through the same thing. How can I do it? I don't have advice. I mean, I I don't have it. I have my own issues also that I have to deal with. Well, guys, expect what I know. would say, when I'm going to give a moment to be a speaker, come groove on, go. No, tell me, you know what? We are so, we are so, we are so, we are so, we My biggest ick about you is that you fight a lot. Have you seen me fight when? My question is Salon Pona Kiloi. Huh? Salon Pona Kiloi, nah, like Salon Pona Be. But also, like, even if it's the biggest ick. I mean, I'll check myself, but I mean, it takes it takes a lot for me for me to just fight someone. You understand? I don't just fight someone out of nowhere. It takes a lot. So, my biggest ache is that that's my biggest ache. That's my biggest ache. Like, why on papel? Why? My biggest ache is you're sometimes the rudest person ever. <gasps> Me! I am absolutely not rude. I promise that one. When I'm actually very nice. I'm actually very nice. And my biggest thing about you guys is that you just say it's out of nowhere. The it's still existing. I get rude. I'm not rude. I'm a nice human being. And I don't do that anymore. When last, when last did I spill beans? When last did I go live drunk and spill beans? So my biggest thing about you is that Uti said, Lots of Kali. Lots of Kali. It's 1950. When kiss. And it's all right. Thank you. My biggest thing about you is doing BBL. Well, what are you? Give it hard. Especially, I'll snap picture on your page. Especially if you say you That's my biggest ache about you, bitch. My biggest ache about you guys is I always have comments about my body from people that have no fucking profile picture, bitch. So come confident, bitch. I want to know why do you guys think I'm rude? Like, have you ever maybe had a thing with me? Like, have we met before? And then I give you like an attitude or whatever. Say your stories. Let's see if i'll recall and i want to tell you guys for the first egg that i got from you guys hey, lady, hey i like to fight i want to rectify something
Cyan Buji spilled the tea in her latest live stream. She dished about her love life, saying she had to teach her man how to love her right. She's had her share of non-committing guys in the past, but her current boo is treating her well. And here's the best part. Cyan is all about that loyal life. She's committed to her man and wouldn't dream of cheating on him. Her followers asked if her boyfriend knows about her sex tape, and Cyan said he does. She joked that he had no choice but to love her with all her flaws. Cyan also talked about her upcoming gastric sleeve surgery, which will be her third time going under the knife. She's nervous but excited, and surprisingly, she was not worried then about her second BBL surgery. In a surprising twist, Cyan shared how her parents met, but she's not buying the whole story. She thinks there might be some missing pieces to the puzzle. And if you thought Cyan had a squad of friends, think again. She confessed that she doesn't have any friends, but she's made a new online pal who could become a real friend. Lastly, Cyan addressed the drama surrounding her. She claims she's not a rude person, but she's often provoked into fights. Who knows what really goes on behind the scenes? Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts, like, share and hit the notification bell for new video till then. Bye.